there, simplifiers. Welcome back to Organizing with Simple Solutions. So fall is wrapping up, and if your family is anything like mine, you did all of the pumpkin spiced, chocolate covered, costumed fall things that you could do. And you may have a drawer full of apples rotting in the bottom of your fridge. Or you might just have a four year old that likes to half eat an apple and leave it sitting on a plate someplace in your house. I have both. So today I want to show you how I use my Instant Pot to cook up those apples, both the freshly picked and half-eaten varieties. So let's get started. When I prep my apples for applesauce, I cut them into eighths and I like to leave the skin on. The reason being that it provides double the amount of fiber as you would have if you cut the skin off. And if you're using the Instant Pot, it really cooks up those skins nice and soft. So regardless of what kind of blender you're using to blend it once they're done cooking, it should come out nice and smooth, but all of that added fiber will be in there. I usually use about five to six medium sized apples, which I'm guessing is probably about maybe two to three pounds of apples. And then one cup of water. So I just pour that in. When you put the lid on the pot, you're going to want to make sure that you set it to pressurize so that it pressure cooks the apples. And it should only take about eight minutes once it comes up to pressure. So manual, and I've got it at eight minutes. It'll take about 20 minutes total because it has to come up to pressure and then cook for eight minutes and then let it release. It will take about 20 minutes to cook total because it will need to come up to pressure and then cook for eight minutes and then I want it to release for two to three minutes before I quick pressure release the rest of the steam. So I'll see you back here in about 20 minutes once the apples are cooked. All right, so we're back. We've let the apples cook for eight minutes at high pressure. Then we let the natural pressure release for two to three minutes. And I did a quick pressure release on the rest of the pressure. So we're ready to open our pot up now. And you can already see inside the pot that the apples are nice and mushy. They're starting to fall apart already. But we are gonna blend them up just to get that nice creamy consistency. If you wanted things a little bit chunkier, you could just use something like a potato masher to mash up the apples in there. Or if you had an immersion blender, you could just stick it right down into that Instant Pot and blend it up right in there. I, however, do not have an immersion blender, so I am going to use my second favorite kitchen appliance, and that is my Vitamix, just to give it a quick blend. Make sure that you use some sort of pot holder when you pull the pot out because it is going to be very hot and you're just gonna dump everything, liquid and apples, into the blender. And then I like to add a drop of lemon oil and a drop of cassia oil, which is like a cinnamon flavored oil, just because I like the way that it tastes. So I'll put a drop of each of those in. And as you can see, the steam running off of there. This is very, very hot. So if you plan to eat it right away, you may want to stick it into the freezer for a quick cool down if your kids want some right away. So I've got my Vitamix on high. I am literally going to give it just a little... And that's it. And you can see there is so much heat coming off of there and it is perfectly smooth. I'll fill it right up there. I'm going to let this come to room temperature before I stick that lid on top of there. And I will get about a jar and a half this size from the five to six apples that I used. I hope you enjoyed my quick and easy Instant Pot applesauce recipe today. And if you did and would like more ideas for simplifying and organizing your family life, go ahead and subscribe below so you don't miss anything on Organizing with Simple Solutions. Take care, happy organizing, and I'll catch you next time.